Hey, what up, folks? This is GK. So, as a DevOps engineer, you have to write Python code snippets or small Python functions to perform certain tasks and activities, such as writing cloud functions to tag instances or you know writing cloud functions to create certain resources or Terraform code or whatever it is. So, I'm going to show you how to write these functions or write these code snippets without having any knowledge of Python. But eventually, what you will do is you will use this amazing tool and the latest Gen AI technology to learn the code and then it will assist you to write comments and do some amazing work. I'm gonna show you this demo. Try to use this as much as you can for Google Cloud and then try to learn Python much faster than before. So once you're in the Cloud Console, select the project and then go to the right hand side and select Activate Cloud Shell. I'm sure if you're using Google Cloud Console for a long time, you must be aware of Cloud Shell. You can execute and you can create your own IDE within the Google Cloud project without going into the outside IE. That way the developer experience would be much better from here. So from here, click on Open Editor. If you see any errors here like this, just ignore them for now. Cool, so now I have opened the editor. It is similar to your Visual Studio Code if you haven't used this before. I have already connected my GitHub project here. If you do not have one, do not worry. You can just create a new file by clicking on here and file and new file. First things first, what we have to do is enable the Gemini code assist. So that is what I'm going to use to generate the code. So for that, go to the right bottom here and click on this icon that you see. So click on login to Google Cloud. Right, so now I have a chat assist at the side. So click on the icon again here on the right hand side and select or change the project if you want to change it to any other project. Okay, so for instance, if you want to select this, you can select that or you know, if you want to change the project, you can just select here. Just to make sure that you are going to perform your actions on that project. Now, let's say the task for you is to create a storage bucket in the Google Cloud project and automate that using Python. So let's create a new file. Click on here and create a new file, Python file. And here you can use command I, I'm using Mac. If you're using Windows, you're going to get that Windows specific key here. So command I, and then here I'm going to ask the Gemini code assist to generate the Python code for me so that I can execute and create a storage bucket create or write a Python code to create a storage, to be more specific cloud storage bucket. Run. See so that's how simple it is to generate your own code. Of course, you can also do this using ChatGPT, but you have to go to a ChatGPT and then copy the code from there and then paste it here and modify things. Instead of that, the developer experience here would be much better if you just execute everything from here and see the output. Now, if you are new to Python completely, then you can ask the Gemini code assist to explain the code. For instance, you can click on the code assist icon here and then you can say, explain this. So it is working on the left hand side. And if you minimize this, if you drag this right here, you're gonna see that it is explaining line by line. So what is the first line? The line imports the storage module from the Google Cloud library. And then it is asking us to replace the project here uh, with any other project since it already knew that I'm using you know, YouTube demo project, it, it replaced automatically here, but you can replace with any other, you know, project that you want to run from here or, you know, run from this cloud shell. And then the bucket name, let's say I want to change it to something else, just to be sure. And then anything else that I have to know about the code. And this is a simple code, no loops or, you know, nothing fancy. So you should be able to understand this much easier. So to run this, I'm gonna click on play here. 
first I have to save this. I'm going to save this as a storage let's go sample rather create test.py okay now it has created a new bucket so to test this out I'm going to go to the project and then go to cloud storage the new bucket is just created. Now this is a very simple Python code, but let's say that you want to create a complex Python code. You can also do that. And let's go through one scenario. I'm gonna create a new file, then call it as Python again. And then here I'm going to say that my use case is to stop all the instances that are tagged with, let's say, web or dev. You know, for example, your uh, boss has asked you that uh, to save cost, I want you to stop all the compute engine instances uh, which are tagged as dev. I mean, we do not want to stop production, so dev is the tag here. Write Python code to stop all the compute engine instances with the tag dev. Right, let's accept the changes. And so for those who are not aware of Python, there are certain conditions and loops and all that stuff that are defined here. Again, you can use the same prompt to understand what is this all about. And then if you are new to for loops, etc., then you can also dig deeper into understanding what this looping is all about in the coding. I mean, this is the best way to learn. Like I've said in many times before, if you start learning Python by going through six hours of course, it, it will not help you that much. But if you learn like this, it will be much faster. And the other things that you can also do with Gemini Code Assist is, let's say if you want to transform this code. Now we have looked at generate the code, but let's say if you want to transform the code or generate unit tests, you can do that. Because as a seasoned DevOps engineer, I often find that developers struggle to write unit tests or they take that as a least priority but with this gen ai you know it's easy for them to start writing the unit tests but let's say if you want to transform this code i can click on transform and then i can see what it offers right away through you know uh, prompts here like for instance explain right if i click on that and then do explain it is going to explain this specific line so view in chat i think we have the chat here so there are a lot of other prompts as well, such as click on the assist here again, and then you can say transform code again and uh, add comments. So it, it added comments to your code. Okay, accept changes, accept changes. Now you can see that uh, it has added some comments here. And this is amazing because it saves a lot of time if you want to share this code before you make a pull request for the other developers. So I'm gonna paste uh, the documentation and the link in the description. You can play around with multiple prompts. Uh, but I think this is an amazing feature to have to enhance your developer experience. You do not have to go to multiple editors, but sit at one place and then use Gemini's code assist and then generate some code, practice your Python code, Terraform code, or whatever you want, then execute that there itself to create some resources in cloud. So that's all for this video. I hope you like this short video, and if you do like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section, and do subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Thank you all, take care, bye.